So you are sick and tired of dandruff. Um, you've been looking for remedies and nothing is working. Well, today I have five remedies for dandruff that I think will get rid of your dandruff, dandruff problem once and for all. I can't guarantee it, but I almost kind of guarantee it. Keep watching. And stay to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you two horrible mistakes people do when they're trying to get rid of their dandruff. Uh, two mistakes that make, you know, that ensure they never actually get rid of their dandruff ever. Let's go. But before we dive in, let me just tell you something amazing I discovered about dandruff, which I didn't actually know before, is that we are still not 100% sure what causes dandruff. I mean, we know fungi or yeast, um, you know, is a major culprit, but for some reason, some people, their skin, they don't have a yeast problem, but they still have dandruff because their skin turns over a lot faster than regular people. We still don't really know what causes this. Amazing. The first type of shampoo you could be trying is something called Zinc Pyrithion. The ingredient is called Zinc Pyrithion. Now in Europe you find it in Alpecin shampoo, which is a very famous shampoo from Germany. And in the US you find it in DHS shampoo, which you can get in Walmart and all the major supermarkets and pharmacies uh, in Canada and the US. Now we think this ingredient works by killing bacteria and by killing fungi. And by, especially by killing fungi, you tend to improve dandruff problems in general. Our next ingredient shampoo is salicylic acid. This is easily available everywhere in North America and Europe. You find it in uh, shampoo brands like Vosine, uh, Neutrogena, Child's Farm. Uh, you find it in Walmart and all the supermarkets in Europe. You shouldn't have any problems finding this. Just make sure you look at the ingredients list and you look and find salicylic acid. If it says salicylic acid, you're good to go. Now salicylic acid is a keratolytic agent, it works by reducing the turnover of the skin, it, it reduces the shedding, it kind of gets rid of that top unstable scaly sheddy layer and exposes the layer underneath. Our next ingredient is selenium sulfide. Now you find this in Selsun shampoo, most famously. You find it in the Head and Shoulders, you find it in Mountain Falls, you find it in Rugby. All these brands are both uh, in Europe and North America. Again, no problems finding this in most places. Now the reason I really like selenium sulfide um, shampoo is because it works across a big range of problems. Um, it fights bacteria, we think it fights fungi, it's good if you have certain types of fungal infections in your scalp, so it covers a broad range of problems, which is really good. And a really interesting point is that a lot of doctors actually prescribe this shampoo to use on problems on the body. So um, on the skin of the body, if there's a problem there that will respond like a fungal problem or something like that, doctors actually prescribe you to use the shampoo for your body, which is really interesting. Our next ingredient is something that I think most of you have heard before. It's ketoconazole shampoo under the Nizoral brand. I think that's the one that you, most of you has, have probably heard of. And it's actually a shampoo I reviewed uh, a couple of years ago on my channel. I'll leave the link somewhere in the description below. Now, if your dandruff is due to a fungal overgrowth, this is going to work wonderfully for you. Um, you use it three or four times a week for maybe four weeks and you shouldn't really have any problems with um, dandruff again, provided that you keep using it occasionally alongside a normal shampoo, you, you know, you're really going to wave bye-bye to dandruff problems. Ketoconazole is available, as I said, most famously as Nizoral. You find Nizoral in Europe and in North America. Even if you can't find Nizoral, a lot of brands make their own version of Ketoconazole shampoo. As long as you see the word Ketoconazole in the ingredients list, you're good to go. Now, the next ingredient that I think you should try to blast away your dandruff problem is coal tar. You might be thinking, hmm, coal tar, is that the same stuff they use to make roads and uh, tarmac? Yep. Afraid so, it's exactly the same, well not exactly the same thing, but it's a very similar thing. Famous shampoo brands that include coal tar include um, MG217, uh, Soritrax, T-Gel and uh, Polytar. All of these you can find both in America and Europe, easily available Walmart, uh, regular pharmacies. Now coal tar works really, really well for psoriasis. So if your dandruff, pro dandruff problem is uh, due to psoriasis, uh, you'll find that coal tar works really, really well for you. It works so well that a lot of the um, you know, skin treatments for psoriasis, for psoriasis patients, are actually based on coal tar. Now let me talk about the two mistakes people do when using these shampoos that actually make sure they never get rid of their dandruff completely. And the first mistake is they use the shampoo and then they wash it off quickly. So they put the shampoo on and then they rinse it off within 20 seconds. That's never gonna work. 
you need to leave the shampoo for some time. You need to leave it on your scalp, on your hair for some time. Um, ideally, for at least five minutes, I would say. Preferably longer if you can. Uh, what I personally do is I put the shampoo on first thing and then I do my other things, wash other parts, maybe sit in the bath. No rush, just leave it there, let it do its magic. That way you'll get better results. And the second mistake is people use a dandruff shampoo, it works for them all well and good they get rid of their dandruff they're happy and then they stop using dandruff sh anti dandruff shampoo completely and then they scratch their head when the dandruff comes back and they think um what why is it why is it come back well the reason it's come back is because you've stopped using it completely you don't want to use stop using it completely when your dandruff problem improves then by all means reduce the frequency that you use your anti dandruff shampoo but you don't want to stop it completely I recommend maybe every week once a week uh, maybe once every 10 days max once every two weeks just to keep the dandruff at bay. You don't want to stop using it completely. So there's my list if you are sick and tired of dandruff and you just want to get rid of it once and for all, try these ingredients. Um, if one ingredient doesn't work for you, try the next one and then try the next one and then try the next one until you find one that works. I'm very, very, very confident. You can never guarantee, but I'm very confident that one of these ingredients would be the magic one for you, the one that gets rid of your dandruff, dandruff problem once and for all. Goodbye and good night.